yesterday we learned how to resize an image, which was, you know, a necessity when you're working with a limited space for certain things online, and different social platforms and everything the case may be. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to open and I'm going to go over here to my external hard drive, my big boy. And we're going to go over here to um, stock files. We're going to find the image. Um, let me find something pretty good. And um, today I'm going to show you how to work with some filters and um, I'm going to attempt anyway. Um, let's see what I got here. There's a few little things I want to do. Um, a little girl in a bathing suit would have been really good, but um, you never know who might be watching these videos. So, you know, respectfully, I'm not going to use that one. Always open the wrong window. All right, we're going to go ahead and stay with this window right here. And uh, there's one viewer, I'm not sure if it's me or not, but, you know, I'm going to kind of go with it. I'm going to leave this up in the background. But anywho, so here it is. We have an image. And, um, you know, Photoshop already comes equipped with all kind of great different little filters and little cool stuff to use um, to kind of, you know, design great projects and everything. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to come over here to our quick selection tool. And with the quick selection tool, I'm just going to cut her out roughly. I'm going to make the best selection. You know, you can resize your brush with your bracket keys and um, get those little finer areas of a person. You know, doesn't have to be perfect. So let's go down a little bit more. Um, okay, and I want to get the edge of that bucket there. Okay, and you can use your, um, you know, your Option key or Alt key on a PC to deselect some things if ever, if you ever need to. So basically, what we have here is uh, make my brush a little bigger. Grab this over here, and. Um, you know, I have my brush selected right here. You can see the plus, the minus, and if you put it on the minus and you hit the option, it add two. If you put it on the plus and you hit the option or the alt key, it uh, it subtract from. You know, vice versa. So what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, I want to first unlock the layer. But first of all, what I want to do is I want to invert this because I want to make everything around her like an oil painting versus making her an oil painting. So I would hit Command Option. I and it inverts it. Now you see the marching ants on the outside of her versus the inside of her. So let me go back, hit Command Z, and I'm not sure if you can tell the difference, but she's selected. And which you watch the borders there, Command Shift I, it will select the outside of her. It's, you know, you got to have to have an eye for it, but you know, um, and I'm a shortcut type of guy, so to show you where the here it is right here, select inverse. Is right here. You can come up here and hit select and inverse and do that same action as well if you need to. Um, but I just gave you the shortcut there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up here and I'm going to create a new layer for that selection. And I'm going to just go ahead and select. Actually, let me go back. Instead of making a new layer, I'm going to duplicate that layer. So let's throw this layer in the trash and I'm going to do command. J to make a duplicate layer. So now we have a duplicate layer there, even though the whole thing's not showing up for some reason. I'm going to go up here to filter and I'm going to go over here to I'm using CS6 oil painting. And being said I made that selection there, uh, I didn't inverse it. Let me inverse it. Select
Okay. Let me go back a couple steps. Okay. Well, we're just going to go ahead and work with this layer. You can duplicate to make it non-destructive, but, you know, it's not a big deal. So we go up here to Filter. Go to Oil Painting. And what we're going to do here, you can see everything around her has already started to the process in reference to oil painting. So you can come up here with your, you know, stylation, whatever that word is called, the cleanliness. You know, you can adjust these little sliders right here to make it, you know, however you want to make it look. And you notice that it's only doing the things around her because we, you know, selected her and then we inversed it, you know, to, to make it, you know. Um, only do the background. I missed this little section right here for the sake of the video, but you know, no big deal. Um, but you can kind of play around with these sliders. You also have a scrubby slider. You put your cursor over the name and you can write left, you know, and adjust it to your liking, you know, and uh, see what you come up with, you know. So it kind of gives your images a little bit of a, a cool little feel like she's at the beach and you can still understand and see that's the beach, but it isn't an oil filter type of um, format, which is, you know, really cool. So go ahead and deselect that, and we have it all finished there. So, you know, what we've mastered here is making um, a certain part of your 